Hey everybody, I'm here in the park behind my house. That's my house, the uh, white one there with the towels hanging. And behind our house we have a pondy marsh type situation. There's like a pond over there. We got married over there. Oh. And in here we have a ton of cattails. So I'm going to pull up some young cattails and I'm going to make some cattail soup and I'm going to show you the process. All right, so I'm kind of walking through the marshy bit of the backyard here in our pond and you want to look for the smaller cattails and pull them up. Oh, you don't want that one. Yuck, get rid of it. Oh, what about this one? Nope, no good. It's a little late in this season. I'm picking here in June, so it, it's easier to get them in uh, in May. But um, we'll see if we can find some nice young ones. I did find a couple here. This is what you're looking for. When you pull them up, they come off real clean. Like there's a nice meaty stem here. And it's got some good texture. And these taste like a mix between cucumber and zucchini. They are fabulous. So I'm going to hunt for a few more of these before we make our soup. Beauty. So this is uh, what we're looking for. Again, I've got, I found a nice selection of young cattail shoots. Pulled them out as close to the root as I could. And what I'm going to do now, you're not going to need any of this leafy part. So you just cut it off and you even want to peel back a couple of layers to get down to the real nice meaty bits. All right, and this is what you're looking for is this like nice young looking meaty part and it looks kind of layery and you won't believe the flavor of this you guys so I'm just going to cut up uh, a bunch of these and then we're going to add them to our soup. All right that's about it so five or six young cattails is going to get you a handful of these little shoots but it only took a second to peel all of these so well worth it for some free veggies. Now as you can see as I cut them up the inner layers of the cattail are they're not slimy they're not dirty um, of course we're going to wash them really really well but all of the sort of muck coming from the pond is just peeled away as I peeled back the uh, peeled back the outer leaves. So you want to cut it up in like one eighth to one quarter inch slices and then just get it into um, a system of really well washing before you move to the next step. We're all cleaned up and I've got about one and a half cups of diced cattail here and the recipe actually calls for two cups so I'm actually going to go ahead and throw some organic cucumber in just to make up the difference. Now the other parts of this soup include um, some mint that I got out of my garden and lemon. Um, I've got about three quarters of a lemon here that I'm going to juice. We're going to do some grated ginger and usually just salt and pepper beyond those items but I think today I'm going to add a little bit of chives for a little bit more onion flavor and a little bit of dill as well because why not? So basically I'm going to cut up all these things and put them into the Vitamix. Okay, everything is chopped up and grated up. The ginger's grated up in there. And I have kept some to the side for a little bit of added crunch. I've kept some mint and cucumber and cattails to the side. That's going to go in the soup at the end. And now I just have to add the almond milk. We're going to do probably two cups to start just to smooth it all out. And then I will add the rest afterward. Here's where I'm going to throw in a little bit of salt and pepper as well. All right, here's the finished product. This is our cattail soup. It's really nice once you've had it chilled for an hour, you wanna let it chill in the fridge, but it's got the crunchiness of the cucumbers and zucchini in there. I'm sorry, zucchini cattails. Um, again, they taste just like zucchini, it's great. And a little bit of extra kicks of flavor from the lemon, the dill, the ginger, and the mint. It's excellent soup. I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm. Killer. 
what a killer option for um, a nice cool soup, something refreshing and crispy and a lot of cooling flavors in there for these hot summer days. Enjoy!